Hi guys, today I want to share with you a painting hat that I came across accidentally. Sometimes I run out of supplies here in Cabo, it's, uh, it's rather limited. So I wanted to um, create a, a thicker medium to put on my uh, oil painting and, and process. And this is the real stuff. It's by Winsor & Newton and it's called uh, Liquin Impasto. So I thought, okay, what can I use? And I came across just some normal baby powder mixed with solvent makes a thick texture. So what I do is add a bit of powder. Whew, be careful of the fumes. Then I'll add just regular painting solvent and mix it up. Oops. You never know how this is gonna go, like you always Pour in a bit of that, and then some more powder. And it's just sort of by trial and error, you know how much to add. It smells like a baby's butt right now. Okay, so you can see I'm mixing it up, trying to get rid of uh, the lumps. I obviously have too much salt in. So I'm gonna add some more. Be careful of the feet. Uh, powder coming into your nose. So I'll keep adding it and mixing it. Sort of like making gravy or a roux for gravy. I bet you the men don't know what that is. Ha ha. Okay, so this is looking better. And after you get this mixed up, you add oil paint right from the tube so you can color it anything you want. There we go. It's a little bit thicker. Now I'm just mixing it with a plastic knife here. Okay, that's coming along better. It sort of looks like uh, cement. And the great thing about this is you create texture, yet it dries super fast, opposed to using an oil medium. That can take days for me for, for it to dry here in Mexico. This stuff, it dries within an hour, so you can apply more. Okay, so there you go. My painting hack of the day, baby powder and solvent. I'll take it a step further by adding just some white oil paint. All you have to do is make sure that you get all the lumps out. It tends to get a little lumpy. I guess white wasn't a good choice to show you, but let's see how I'm mixing it up. Okay, and there we go. Now I'm going to move over to my picture and show you how I apply it. Okay, so you can see I have my hot uh, baby powder and pasto in this tray, and I just added some white to it. And I have a palette knife, and I have a brush, and I am going to start applying it. It just gives a little bit of oomph to the painting. Spread it on like that. And you can brush it out a bit. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you really notice 
a change in uh, the contrast. And I just, I, I, I play with it until it looks okie dokey. Stand back. And if you don't like a certain area, you can take some paper towel. Just swipe it off a bit. Okay, so I'm going to add a bit more. Stand back and see where I want it to be. Often I like to soften up some of the edges and leave some a little bit harder. Sorry. Okay. It's kind of looking cool. Just feather it out. some pronounced areas up there, so I'm going to continue up there. some exercise up on my bench that my hubby made me. And we're going to just continue on. Don't drip it. <laughs> sort of trial and error. Trial and error. Just never know. If you don't like it, you can wipe it off.
And you can even use your brush to apply it. A, a good picture or an interesting picture is contrast, light to dark, shadows from gray to white. And I'm just, I'm picking up the, sh uh, the shadows and the shapes that I see in the underlying painting that I started with. And I'm just sort of building off there. brush with absolutely no paint on it and continue to blend. my hack for the day. I'm just going to soften out a few more areas here using a clean brush. Wipe this off. Okay, that's it. That's it for the white. That's what I always say. I go back and find one more place to go, huh? Okay, done. Done deal. Walk away. <laughs> <laughs>